If you own a four wheel drive, you probably go down some tight, scratchy tracks. And I reckon you're one of two people. There's the ones that wear their uh, bush pinstripes as a badge of honor of the places they've been. And then there's the people like me who like their four wheel drive to look pristine, and maybe even get a little bit upset about it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the process I go through to make this thing shine again. This is about a year's worth of exploring tight tracks, making YouTube videos, going on adventures. It's looking a bit dull. Well, maybe dull's an understatement. You can just see all these fine scratches through here. Now to tackle this flat, dodgy looking paintwork, we're gonna need some supplies. So let's take a run down to Super Cheap Auto and get some car care products. This is the trickiest bit about car care, is all those wares behind me. There's a lot to choose from, so I'll uh, walk you through what I'm going to choose, and we'll go from there. It wasn't exactly what I was after. I was looking for the, uh, the clay cloth, but uh, this is a clay bar substitute product. I'm going to give that a go. Stood here for a while deciding what ones I wanted. I've ended up going with the Meguiar's. It gets a pretty good reputation, and kept them all the same. We've got uh, the wax there, final coat, that there, the polish, that's going to do the majority of the scratch removal. And Scratch X. I've never used this before, but I've heard pretty good stuff about it. So, we'll go back home and let's talk some more about it, hey? Step number one, we've got to give it a wash. Doesn't matter too much what sort of car wash you use, I don't reckon. As long as it's not dishwashing liquid. Dishwashing liquid contains um, degreases and all sorts of nasty stuff that's not that good for wax that's on your car and other coatings. Okay, the car's washed all around. Before we go to the next step, we want this thing to be spotless. You want to get as much of the contaminants off the paint as you can. Bug and tar remover might be needed. This car's pretty good, but if you've got uh, bird poo anywhere, or tree sap, or bits of tar, or bug splatters, uh, you want to spray a bit of this on there. Let it sit for a couple of minutes and penetrate, and uh, then wipe it off to make sure you've got it as clean as you can. I've just got a bit around the bull bar, so I'm just going to do the bull bar while I'm here. Ooh, foamy. Oh. I want to take you to a clay bar, a clay bar, a clay bar. You remember that song? Doesn't matter if you don't, because he didn't say clay anyway. What's a clay bar? Well, that is traditionally a clay bar little lump of clay. It uh, came into use in cleaning cars through automotive spray painting, I believe. And uh, this stuff's actually really good at removing overspray. So yep, little moldable lump of clay. I think this one's been used once. Oh no, the new product. Uh, when I went to Super Cheap earlier, I was looking for a clay towel, but they didn't have it in stock anymore. Instead, I found this, the Mother's Speed Clay. It's a new product, synthetic. It's not actually clay at all. It's more like a sponge with this textured surface. Uh, what's the advantages and disadvantages of each? Well, for this old clay bar here, you need uh, some sort of lubricant that's more like a wax or a spray lube. Whereas with this, you can just use it with water or just a mix of your standard car wash. If you drop this piece of clay in the dirt, you throw it away because the little piece of sand gets stuck in this clay, ruins your paint. Drop this in the dirt, and apparently all you do is rinse it off. So either of these we use before we polish to remove all the micro contaminants in the paint. If you run your hand over your paint and it feels at all textured, lumpy, then these are the things that's gonna get rid of it. They are actually a very mild abrasive, so if you don't use it with lube, or if you just use this one with water, which isn't really 
lubricanty enough, uh, you might do further damage to your paint. For some reason, I've clayed cars before and uh, the, the clay sort of removes the scratches. I mean, scientifically that shouldn't work. My theory behind that is that maybe all these little bush pinstripes get a lot of dirt trapped in them, which brings out the visibility of the scratch. And these clay products are removing the dirt from the scratch, making it less visible. Seeing as I've never used this one before, let's choose a panel on that car, put these side by side and see if we can tell a difference between both. Don't go using that old car wash water either because look how filthy that is. Replace that with some new stuff, hey? Okay, I used the clay on this side and I used the mother's quick clay on this side. I can feel a very minor difference. This is a little bit smoother. When I was uh, using the clay here, I could feel it picking up all the little bits of grit. You can, and you can hear it as well. Uh, it sort of grips a lot and it makes a little bit of a, I can't even describe the sound, but you don't hear anything once it's nice and smooth and clayed. And the same for this, I uh, got a lot of sort of textural feedback. I could feel the rough bits and I could hear it. Uh, the only difference at the end is you can see when your clay gets dirty and it's pretty cool to see how much dirt comes out of your paint, whereas this you can't. I think I'll carry on using the mother's product because I don't have to use the spray lubricant. A little bit easier, I can just wash it off if I drop it. Yeah, not a bad product. So now we've got to go around and rub this back and forth until you can hear and feel that difference when your paint's going smoother. Okay, it's washed. I've hit the whole thing with the speed clay, what's it? Now I'm gonna give it a dry. Microfiber chamois, I've only just started using this. I used to just use the old leather chamois. Yeah, I like this. Give it a good dry. And then the last thing we wanna do is polish in the sun. So I'll come to you again once we've moved the car into the garage. So the paint's nice and clean now, and you might be tempted to just stop here and say, yeah, that's good enough, there's a bit of shine. I think the problem lies in the scratches remain there, and then you go off road and just even in everyday street driving, all the dirt just attracts to the scratches and uh, sticks in the little grooves and that, and then it starts to look terrible again. This is the spot where I reckon you have to stick with the same brand for this process, because one brand might be a cut and polish, and another one might be like a polish and wax, you know, they all sort of overlap. So if you go with the same brand, they've generally got their own stages of doing things. And this is what I've chosen. I'm gonna be honest, you're not gonna remove scratches without removing a little bit of clear coat. Not much, but a little bit. You've got things like cutting compounds, uh, cut and polish. Uh, Maguire's cutting compound is another step that you'd use here if your paint was a little bit worse. The problem with cutting compounds, it's probably best to put it like sandpaper. This is like your finest of fine grit sandpaper polish. So it's gonna remove a little bit. Cutting compound is a little bit harsher. And then coming before cutting compound, you'd be heading into using actual sandpaper. For this level of scratching, we don't really need to use a cutting compound. And they're a little bit dangerous to work with, especially in a machine. If you get a little bit too carried away in one spot and really attack your scratches, you get them out, but that's because you've sort of cut away the entire clear coat. Then you start finding like the edges of your paint peeling and it's horrible the Scratch X. I believe it's quite similar to a cutting compound. It's a little more abrasive and it's designed for use in like small areas to fix scratches like uh, you might see around your door handle here from fingernails or around the key lock from keys. 
This stuff does a pretty good job on that, but it's only for use in small areas. So after I've gone over with a bit of polish, we'll get a little bit of this onto the tougher scratches. Okay, polishers. This is what I'm using today, a Rockwell Orbital Polisher. You probably can't see it from the camera, but if you were to look close, this thing isn't spinning in a perfect circle, they actually move around a bit. That stops you from burning spots in your paint. If you're looking to buy a polisher, um, buy something like this, random orbital polisher or a uh, multifunction polisher that has that orbital motion in it. You can get those big buffers that go at high speed, they're like a giant angle grinder. I wouldn't be using one of them unless I was very skilled because it's too easy to burn the paint. Otherwise, do it by hand. I mean, it takes forever, but you get the same result eventually and you get mad bicep action. Masking off, you don't absolutely have to do it. Ugh. The bloody dog had a go at this roll and ruined it. You don't absolutely have to mask off, but uh, your black trims don't really like the polish. It leaves white marks everywhere and you know, it's just not ideal. And you don't have to do a spectacular job. So I'm just gonna go across, mark off these edges here, mask off that trim down the side of the door, do a quick one across the wheel arch, and a little bit around the door handles there. Nothing too flash. And then I can just, I don't have to be so careful around the black trims then, I can just go back and forth with that polisher. Okay, all of the black bits of trim are masked off. That took me about 15 minutes. Now it's time to put some polish on there, get the real exciting bit happening. We've smeared a little bit of polish on our pad here, this little polishing pad, and read the back of your bottle of polish. It's gonna differ depending on the process. In this case, get this machine on medium speed. Well, it's only got one speed, so I'm just gonna call that medium, and go four to six times overlapping over each spot. I like to do a panel at a time, it's easier that way, so let's get on to panel number one. Oh! Jesus, my hands feel like they're gonna fall off. Okay, now we gotta wipe that down. Standard microfiber cloth, and just wipe away all the polish. Right, so I still got some scratches around this area. As you can see, it's a real pain to get that massive orbital buffer in. So we'll do these little bits by hand. That's easy. Um, I'd normally use a foam applicator. I thought I had some at home and I went for that run to super cheap. Didn't buy any foam applicators. Turns out I didn't have some at home. So a microfiber towel will do. Just fold it in half about eight times. I've wet it, wringed it out a few times so it's just a little bit moist. Moist. And just put a couple of blobs of this stuff on there. Come on. Oh yeah. and just go at it. Wipe it off with the, with a clean microfiber. Much better. We'll carry on like that all the way to the back of the car. Okay, right here, got a bit of a scratch that doesn't want to go away. 
So let's give this Scratch X stuff a go, hey? Oh, splooge. Hmm, mildly scented. Anyway, enough sniffing around. So as to put a little bit of this on your cloth. Oh. And go up by hand. Hang on a sec. I should have kept my uh, dry cloth on hand. Yeah, it's getting there. Maybe a little bit more pressure. Yeah, there's the like faintest, faintest trace of it, but I'm pretty happy with that. Not bad stuff. This is the next step we've got. Wax. One thing I love about Maguire stuff is that it smells delicious, hey? Smells like bubble gum. It's gonna have all the ladies just crawling over one another to get to me. Well, not to get to me, to get to the car. I think they care less about me. Anyway, back to wax, getting off topic a bit here. What is it? It's kind of like makeup for your paint. This will make your scratches like pretty much disappear. The problem is just like makeup washes off over time. So it'll help. But another awesome thing about it is the protection it offers. So all those bits that you had a hell of a time trying to scrub off your paintwork earlier is going to become so much easier if you keep your paint waxed. And as four-wheel drivers, we get the things dirty all the time. This just makes it so much easier to, to wash. Good thing about wax is unlike the polish we just put on, it's not hard. You don't need elbow grease, you don't need a machine. You just uh, put a little bit of this on the sponge that it comes with and wipe it over. Leave it for five minutes, this one says. Three to five minutes for the wax to bond with the paint. Then you go over with the microfiber towel and wipe it all off and it looks aces, bro. Aces. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. I can't sleep without a nightlight on. Whether that's true or not, that's not the secret. Secret is, this door I have not touched since we washed it. All it's had is a wash, didn't touch it with the clay, haven't polished it, haven't waxed it. This door is completed. Clay, polish, wax, the whole lot. From the angle that camera is, you can't probably see it. So I'll pop the camera off. From here with my naked eye looking along it in the light, I can absolutely see the difference. It's an incredible difference. It's I can't believe it's not butter. It's like a new car. It's unfathomable. How shiny is that? You'd never even know it had pinstripes on it. Right, now that that's out of the way, uh, that is it for Intense Off-Road. I am never going off-road again. Uh, we're, we're done with four-wheel drive videos. We're selling this for getting a street car because I'm right into pristine paint now. Said nobody ever. Yeah, but really, once you do this, you're not gonna wanna go get it scratched again. So, I've got an idea for a future video. Something that's been kicking around in my head for a while. I want to do like a, a DIY spray lining, try and protect the paint a little bit. No idea how that's gonna go. So I'll make the video in a future episode. We'll see if we can uh, keep it looking this way underneath. Until then, have fun basking in the glory of your fresh, shiny paintwork. Oh, you could eat off that. I'll see you on the next video.